だかな泳いでいたんだぜ春には桜の花びらがいっぱい浮かんで流れてた遠い昔のことだけイバクシャは、死に物語のアトムック・ウォーフェア。オーガスト1945年、アトムック・ボーミングのヒロシマやナガサキが、死に物語のアトムック・ウォーフェア。For more than 60 years, イバクシャは、マーチ・ショーダー・トゥ・ショーダー・アンドゥ・ヌクリア・クラウド。イバクシャは、死に物語のアトムック・ウォーフェア。On the scorched plain of Hiroshima, it was believed that nothing would grow for 75 years. In less than three months, the oleander flower bloomed in Hiroshima City. Eiji Nakanishi was the youngest survivor of Hiroshima. Yoko, a seven year old Tokyo girl, plays hide and seek with Eiji, her teacher. Her curiosity leads her to discover the mysteries of Hiroshima. She learns the story of Sadako and the Thousand Cranes. Eiji introduces her to Harada san, his friend, and also a Hibaksha. The first atomic bomb, named Little Boy, is made ready for Hiroshima. The air crew is experienced, ready. The target is new, virgin territory. Sunday, December 7, 1941, was a bright sunny day on the island of Oahu, Hawaii, and in the town of Verona, New Jersey. I remember playing outside our house when my schoolmate, Mac, came running around the corner. Japs bomb Pearl Harbor! The Japs bomb Pearl Harbor! The Japs bomb Pearl Harbor! They wiped it off the face of the map! What are Japs, Mac? They're rats. They stabbed us in the back. I donned my World War I steel helmet, picked up my toy rifle, and went to war. We fought all the battles as Hollywood taught us Midway, Wake Island, Bataan. Frequently, I battled alone, my Walter Mitty warmates losing stomach and running indoors for a cup of hot chocolate. Not me, the war had to be won. Jack Dairiki was a Japanese American、uh, trapped in Hiroshima during the war. Shizuko lost her beauty in Hiroshima. Eiji brings Yoko to the Nakanishi family grave. Where he tells her about the loss of family members. Seventy thousand Koreans die in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. So, in that, here, this is what we do for our people. This is what we do for our people. But in the United States, we don't do this for our own people. A giant stone commemorating civilians killed in war is pulled by 9 11 families for peaceful tomorrows and world citizens 342 miles 
from Nagasaki to Hiroshima. There seems to be a very close bond, an unspoken understanding between Hibakusha, who have said, um, our lives should be spent to tell the story so that no one else will do this again. And September 11th Families for Peaceful Tomorrows do not want anyone else to die because of what happened on September 11th. We don't want retaliation. We want to extend our compassion to, to other people all over the world, as the Hibakusha did to us. Harada-san becomes Yoko's A-bomb teacher. Together, they journey to Hiroshima. The 60th commemoration of the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki is a major event in Japan. Tens of thousands of world citizens converge on these two cities for the three-day event. <laughs> Mayor Akiba calls for the abolition of nuclear weapons. Thousands more perform a vibrant arts festival of paintings, dancing, music, songs, and prayers, punctuated by the closing tradition of floating paper lanterns down the Motoyasu River to commemorate the many victims who threw themselves into the river to escape the 3,000 degree heat. How could they know the river was boiling? Hibakusha looked to the future. Many could not speak out for 50 years or more. Now they make an urgent plea to the world to abolish atomic weapons. Hibakusha alone know the horrors of nuclear warfare, the pain and suffering of losing entire families in one blazing flash, the agony of living with the long-term effects of radiation poisoning that slowly eats away their vital organs. Their plea is for non-hibaksha of the world to take a stand. So their children and children of generations to come will never have to fear the terror of nuclear warfare the very real potential to annihilate all life on our planet. <laughs>